Anderson just doesn't know where to go. Delight for the names. <laughs> I, I, I don't see myself as a performer in that I just what you see is what you get. I'm really just uh, I'm so so happy when we're performing well and especially in the, the countries where the fans are going crazy. Uh, I, it just fills me up with joy and sometimes it translates out in, uh, in some dancing or, or some moves or whatever, but it, it really just is uh, enjoyment. I, I'm really so happy just to, to get to play and, and to win. So um, I don't know how to describe me. Uh, I'm an unwritten... Uh, <laughs> What you see is what you get. I'm, I'm really just excited about uh, being on court and having great fans and uh, enjoying myself. When it comes to unbridled passion, Anders Skarup Rasmussen is the one player on the tour who wears his heart on his sleeve. As he celebrates a decade of partnership with Kim Astrup, the 33-year-old reflects on his eventful journey so far. I became professional in quite a, a late age. Um, but being in the top five, seven, winning some of the biggest tournaments uh, and being part of the, the few in, in some weeks of the, of the years is, is really special for me, that you're one of the best in the world. Uh, of course, we would love to be part of the top three and winning titles, uh, but uh, I'm not satisfied yet, but I'm extremely proud of the way we progress. We're like a red wine, we're just getting better. So I hope that continues, but that has been vital for us, that the, that's a part of us not going down. It's only uh, we're progressing and uh, we're still hungry for, for more. We have a lot of respect for each other and uh, Kim understands my situation with kids, and, but he's also encouraging me and uh, demanding that uh, I don't slack on training and uh, how we prepare and so forth. So, um, and I have a lot of respect for the way he, he trains and his uh, way of uh, being dedicated. So uh, that's just a part of being a top, top pair that you need that kind of trust. Uh, but yeah, we've also been a lot together throughout the years. So sometimes we need a break, but that's just uh, normal. Uh, but we also enjoy being together. So yeah, mutual respect is, uh, is the key, I think. I actually think we gained confidence, even though we lost in the quarterfinal, but uh, one of the eye-opener for us was that the, the period leading up to the Olympic Games, we really trained extremely hard. And I think uh, Kim had some eye-opener in terms of his fitness and not getting injured. And I, I had some things that I tried to change in, in terms of my uh, how my body is. Uh, in, muscle versus uh, weight and cardio versus uh, strength training and, and so forth. So we, we had uh, some experience that, that led to a good period after the Olympics. Right now there's perhaps eight pairs, but I, at some point I think there were like 15 pairs that perhaps could win. But now you, you don't have a, a number one as when um, Kevin and Marcus were winning eight out of 50, eight out of ten tournaments throughout the year. But you have uh, the Japanese, you have Aviana de Ancho. Then you had for a short while you had uh, Lian Wang winning everything, and uh, Asana Sen Setu and still going to World Championship final. And then you have us, but and Aaron Shea winning the World Championship. So there, there's a lot of pairs that could win on the day. Uh, of course, some. Some pairs does it more than uh, than than others. I, I could pick my favorites, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't win. So yeah, that, I think that's a good way of putting it. That not all pairs can win, but there's a maybe six or seven pairs that that could be the champions. It's really impo important for me to say that. Uh, Behind all the funny things going on and whatsoever, the, uh, Kim and I especially, uh, and, and for myself, we're really dedicated and we, we love playing badminton, we love performing 
and showcasing badminton to our fans and uh, the interaction and the joy we get from fans from all over the world really uh, motivate us to, to play well and uh, I promise if we do well you'll get a lot of dance moves uh, throughout the years. <laughs> chica chica. <laughs>